What's up, Eric? <laughs> What's up, my airy baby? So, I totally meant to tell y'all in the store with me, and if I can forgot. But basically, I am sitting outside Ross right now, and I have finally decided to announce my pregnancy. Um, originally, I was going to wait until May 21st, specifically because that is when I graduate, and um, I just thought it was going to be really cute with my graduation pictures, because I had a whole plan on how I was going to do that. I'm still going to have those pictures, but I thought of an even cuter idea. So today I am 18 weeks pregnant and um, basically once you're 20 weeks pregnant, that is your halfway mark when you are halfway done with being pregnant. So because of my 20 week mark coming up and because of my favorite ice cream being half-baked ice cream, I decided to do an announcement on my 20 weeks to say half-baked, almost done. And I thought that shit was gonna be so cute. So I really was trying to keep this uh, simple. Um, I This is a reference photo that I am going for. So it's real simplistic. I actually just got two chairs that look exactly like that chair from my neighbor my neighbor had passed away and her family was going through her stuff and had threw out these chairs and I was like I want them so you know when they got put by the dumpster I brought them in the house I cleaned them with warm water and soap and I also saged them so I cleaned them physically and spiritually so I just talk about real quick what I got so like you saw in the picture, the lady is wearing a bra. So I just have a little bra. Hopefully it can fit. Um, it's a 40D. If it doesn't, I mean, it is what it is. I know I'm a D. I just don't know if I'm that type of D. I also got one pair of drawers. I just wanted something neutral to match the bra. Uh, oh, the bra was $8. This was $1.99. So that was 2 I got this right here. This is what I came to Ross hoping that I would find. It's a little letter board. And y'all, $5.99. I saw this online at Target for like $20. Party City for $20. And I was going to go to Party City, which is ironically right beside the Ross. It's right there. But I came into Ross first just to press my luck. And as I was like walking past the aisle, I saw it. So. I mean, the downside is it's, it's small. I kind of wanted one that was a little bit bigger, but you know, it is what it is. We'll get the job done. I also can use this for the birth announcement when the baby is born. So, super excited about that. And then the last thing that I got was this picture frame. This picture frame just says uh, my whole world. And I actually am going to slide in my ultrasound right here. And I'm going to have it in the shot. So it's given very simplistic, it's given very earthy, which is what I was going for. Um, I might, I might go to Dollar Tree, which I think, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So Dollar Tree is right here on this strip. So I am gonna go to Dollar Tree and see if I can find me some really pretty fake flowers to kind of drape over my chair. So let's do that. I'll see y'all in there. These are not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like so eucalyptus. Okay, so I pretty much just walked in and walked out. They did not have what I was looking for. I was looking for something that resembles like a faux eucalyptus plant. Then I remembered I had some faux vines that I used for my birthday party which was like jungle themed. So if I can find those, great. If not, the shoot will be fine. So I will see y'all tomorrow.
this shit crazy. All right, y'all. So, um, your girl still ain't got a motherfucking camera yet. So, uh, I screen recorded while I was taking my pictures. So, these are chairs that I was talking about. And this is the setup that I had. I really wanted to take pictures by my twinkle lights. You see them twinkling in the back. However, how the sun was positioned at the time of day it was, it was not hidden back there so you see me trying to just set everything up see how it's gonna look and all that stuff but did not end up moving stuff around so yep so i am wearing this blanket around me just because i was trying to be modest because there were people outside and there was children outside and I didn't want them to see my ass but after a while y'all gonna see I stopped caring <laughs> I stopped motherfucking caring so like I told you here I'm just moving shit around because where the lighting where I wanted to sit the lighting was just not hidden so I eventually just ended up taking shit on the concrete wall this brick wall and shit and it was fine everything came out cute and i will include those pictures at the end oh also the last thing i ordered for this shoot was i ordered a remote control clicker which you can you might be able to see it in my in my hand right now it's in my uh my left hand and i'm just trying to keep it hidden out the frame but no that's that's the best thing to have when you are taking your pictures by yourself which is exactly what i was so um i got it from amazon it came in a pack of two for eight dollars and i will link it i also want to say that my baby is not that small that ultrasound was when i was 10 weeks and I haven't had another ultrasound since then. And by the time I get my next ultrasound, the video was already completed. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and complete the video now is because I got my hair done a week ago. And it was just a press and um, a trim and stuff. And I wanted to take the picture while my hair was still looking decent. And I wasn't sure my hair was still going to be looking decent <laughs> by the time I hit 20 weeks. Because I've had my hair done for a week and it's already starting to get frizzy. Despite the fact that I've had it up. I have had my hair in pin curls every day since I got my hair done. So it is what it is. But yes, that is a very old ultrasound picture of my baby. And I'm pretty sure Nugget is way bigger than that. That onesie says, Bowie, my future HBCU, where your girl graduates tomorrow, summa cum laude, with her master's in school psychology. And that's on what? Mary had a motherfucking lamb. Period. So in this segment, I'm just going through my pictures, looking at them, editing them. Um, for some reason, my video ended up cutting before I was done with my shoot. So I wasn't able to get the entire shoot, but y'all honestly get the drift. So here are the, the photos that made the cut. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my official pregnancy announcement and the upcoming name reveal is going to be great all right until next time bye i know i already did my outro and said bye and shit but baby i had to come through and look at some of these with y'all like look at that ass yo that, that motherfucker shit sitting you feel me so i do not know which one i'm going to use for like my fish i think that one for my official announcement on social media because i'm still not out yet 
but I thought this shit was beautiful. I am glistening. That sun is hitting and kissing me perfectly. I wish um, I took my surroundings more seriously. Uh, as you can see, like I shifted wherever the light went, I went, but not factoring in that the stuff on my patio would have been in my background shot. So it went some, you lose some, but I love them regardless. So here are some bonus pictures that I took during Mother's Day weekend. Um, and here's a picture of me and my mom. Yes, that's my mom. And me and my grandmother. I am actually the first grandchild, the first great grandchild, and the first great niece or nephew. So we are all super excited and patiently waiting baby W. See you next time.